such a amazing person to look up to. To be honest, he's probably my hero. He's going through more than anything I've ever had to go through or anybody I've ever known had to go through. And he's so positive about it. And it's amazing. And he's so funny. He's, he's just an amazing kid. And I really look up to him. Well, I found that just being positive makes it seem like it's not even there and that it's not even a problem. Um, I stay positive just by encouraging myself, working out, and it just, a better mental attitude is just better in the long run. William was diagnosed at OB three years ago in December. It was definitely hard on our family. Um, because we didn't know anything about Crohn's and nobody in our family had Crohn's. So um, it's been challenging the last three years trying to navigate through the disease and try and find the best treatment for him. Um, as a kid, you know, I try and uh, he'd be like, Dad, I, I can't, I can't walk. Um, will you carry me? And so um, we would go to jazz games and I would end up carrying him on my shoulders to and from because he was having all of this uh, joint pain. He had lost so much weight. He was just so sick and he wasn't able to do much, but he always had a great spirit about it. It was awesome about him. Honestly, like, I just really wish I could swap places with him. I know that Liam is a very um, competitive individual. And so for him to admit or to say that he can't do something does is not something that comes easy to him. Me and my family all went on this um, take steps walk. It was, at first I wasn't totally sure what was going on, but then we got there and just got a warm welcome from everybody. And everybody was just so kind to us and everybody was wanting to talk to Liam and just, it felt like he had other people to talk to and he wasn't alone when it came to Crohn's. He had all these other kids that had been diagnosed around his age or even earlier on and they were able to talk to him and just like give him, to, give him advice and let him know that he's not alone. I'm very grateful for them. They have helped me a lot um, and it makes me feel like I'm not the only one out there who has to deal with this and that I, I can do it and so can everyone else. I believe that the foundation is important for the research um, first and foremost. I think that having people who are doing research to try and figure out why these kids are getting these diseases, how to better treat them, how to um, identify the genetics that are at the background uh, that's involved in, in helping get these treatments out on the market and available to them um, is so important. These kids need your help. For those of you that are uh, considering donating, uh, please open your hearts, open your wallets, and uh, let's get these kids and these uh, folks a solution that's long-term. People like me would really need um, a cure because dealing with this is affected my life a lot and I bet a bunch of others I've heard people who were diagnosed since they were like babies and their stories and it's just really hard and it would help a lot.